Welcome back. Today we are tackling Oberlin Station and building a cozy and realistic Minutemen settlement. Oberlin Station is a small settlement located here in the center of the Commonwealth, while surrounded by the Charles River. As you can see, it's built on this old abandoned railroad. There's one permanent building that exists here already. It's this old watchtower, and there are two women living here currently. I'm gonna get started by putting down a recruitment beacon. Let's grab a generator for that so we can continue to attract some more settlers while we work here. There we go. Uh, now I think we should go ahead and just scrap everything that we don't need. All these trees, oh, that's going to give us some more space and good material to work with. I always think about, you know, if I lived in Fallout, where would I be? Because I'm not a fighter. And I think it would be a settlement like this. You find some sort of permanent structure. You grab some seeds. Right now they're just living off the potato crop. I do want to replace this fence with a better fence, so let's go ahead and scrap some of that too. But I want to sort of remember where it was. I don't want to change the main layout here. Let's go ahead. The wire fence is good. We could do a gate. Yeah, we could do a gate right there, so let's scrap that part. Really our goal here... Oop, I wanted that to go the other way. Our goal here is to keep the same heart of the settlement, but make it a little safer for these women. You know, because not everybody in the post-apocalypse is going to be a fighter. Some people just want to live in relative safety here, out by the railroad with their girlfriend. Yeah, see, this fence is just going to cause them problems because they can't repair it. But a new fence is going to be a lot more secure. Keep those rad, rag stags out. Yeah, we'll give them some more crop variety too. What else can we scrap around here? It's a pretty condensed settlement, but we've got some vertical height. So we might do some builds that go up. Like down here, I think we could stack up. We're going to ignore that. Scrapping, scrapping, I love scrapping. We can't, of course, scrap the main building, but I think that's okay. I think we can use it kind of to kind of build around. There you can see the Charles River. Okay, I feel like we've got a good sense of size of this settlement, which isn't very big. <laughs> that's okay. What do we got? This is where the two are living now, a sleeping bag and a bed. And then they've got a pot. I don't want to know what that's for. We'll just delete it. They've got empty tin can, aluminum can, pack of cigarettes. I'll leave that there for now, but we will come back and fix this for them because they shouldn't be sleeping somewhere that's, you know, doesn't even have these windows that close. Like this is not very secure for them. It might be neat to sort of build off of it, like if we can match up a foundation. Do I want that to be wood? Maybe. Like that could be a good, just building off of what we've already got so it feels comfortable for them. If we scrap this, can we fit a wall next to it? That's where that would go. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad at all, because then this is still kind of walled off, but we've got some structure for them on this side, and that'll build that out nicely. Because if we can't get rid of it, we got to include it, or at least build around it in a pretty way. That's nice. Yeah, I like that. Can we do another one on this side? And then a corner. Yeah, so that feels like a kind of natural extension of what's going on here. And we'll get a little half wall. And a roof. 
that. Let's make it go up against the existing. Yeah, that's nice. So that still feels kind of true to what's going on, but then this up here can become more of like a guard post. Actually, I like that a lot. If there's like a security desk in here. Can I get rid of this? Yes, I can. Oh, usually we can't scrap their beds, so that's very exciting. And this I can at least move. And then of course their dirty ashtray. And cigarettes all move with it. Oop, that stands it up. That's cute, more organized. I'm sure they won't be happy that I've taken their beds. <laughs> but I'll add some more too. Oh, and it looks like the people number went up to three, so that's promising. Where are guards? Oh, defense, of course. <sighs> oh, I need the wasteland like workshop to put a desk up here for guards. That's okay. I can always fake it, you know? Oh, I think a desk is technically a container. But if we make this sort of not an overseer's office but like a workplace for people who are overseeing the day-to-day -day of the settlement. That'll be nice. I'll come back and finish that later, but I think that's very promising. And then this new structure can be their actual home or living space. You know, not everybody in the post-apocalypse is gonna be a fighter. And I think about that a lot because I do think I would be useful in the post-apocalypse just not as a raider or a fighter, you know? I'm a crafter. I could do weaving. I would be very good at sewing animal hides together. And that's a necessary skill. Don't ever underestimate a crafter. A little textured wall here. Yeah, that's really nice. Okay, so now they have a much more secure living space and I'll put a door on that but I'll go ahead and put some beds in it right away too because I know our happiness rating is plummeting mm -hmm. I like blue yeah I'll open that yeah that's going to be really nice for them Oh, and I like keeping this panel of the old house exposed. Beds, beds, beds. You know, I'm assuming these two are a couple, so maybe they would prefer, you know, two kind of larger beds pushed together. We need the space though. Will they be able to get in there? I feel like no. I feel like we might have to keep these separate beds, you know. Very 1950s. Follow up feels 1950s anyway. So maybe they won't even mind. Uh, but then this gives us a weird little gap here, which I guess I could just delete, but maybe they would want it as storage. We can put a dresser here for them. When then maybe I should have put down a rug before I started doing any of that. But it's not too late. We can fit in a rug. Just like that. Yeah. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting somewhere. Miscellaneous decorations. Let's throw a candle in here for some coziness. And then what do I want in this little space? Do I want any wall decorations here? What paintings have we got? Oh, no, that's too big. No, I like that exposed wall. Maybe a painting's not the way to go here. None of these are speaking to me. Ooh, they could do a little clock. A little clock. And then maybe a plant. 
You know how I love a plant. Yeah, so now they've got their two beds, a little plant dresser. I'm gonna move these candles to the other side because now we've got the visual weight of the clock. Visual balance is very important for interior design. That's quite lovely. I would do a shelf over here because we want to keep that exposed wall, but maybe this would be like a nice way for them to display some things that they have. And there we go. That's much more secure than the other place or their, the previous watchtower setup. So I like that a lot. And then as we're coming out here, maybe we do like a sitting area. Give me a couch. Yeah. Oh, and then here's where we could do a painting. Right above here. Mm -hmm. I know our happiness is still dropping because now we've got three people. We'll get there, though. A little farm. No, I feel like these two. Is this lavender? A little lavender haze for our, for our lesbian couple. I love that. Okay, so that's nice and cozy. And then do we want a chair on this other side as like a conversation pit? Yeah, I love a conversation pit. And then we'll do a little table here. Oh, this one might be nicer though. Where's the front? That's the front. There we go. And let's do another candle on top of that. Candles everywhere. Or do we want a radio? It might be nice for them to have a radio. I'm partial to Diamond City radio, of course. Okay, so there they've got the painting, couch, little sitting area, sleeping area. It's quite lovely. Do we want anything in this frontest zone or do we want to shrink it? to fit more because no I feel like this zone is going to be useful honestly maybe a, a crafting station for them or a scavenging station I know that seems you know maybe loud and disruptive to have in your house oh cooking zone let's do cooking for sure that's what we need so almost a crafting area, but not quite. We'll give them a little cooking stove. And then maybe like a side table for that. I know this is a filing cabinet. Is there something better than a filing cabinet? Oh yeah, this one feels more like a prep surface for cooking. Will that slot in? Maybe we shift this whole thing over a little bit. Yeah, so they've got a little kitchen. Oh, that's so nice. That's so nice. And then we'll give them the matching cabinet up here, maybe. Is there a way for that to not look broken? Yeah, okay, so now they've got some storage, prep surface, stove, couch. That's really lovely. Okay, so we've done their home and I feel really good about that. We got to replace the rest of this fence because it's icky. There was that structures. Yeah. I like this fence piece best because you can just keep building it on top of each other. For as long as it fits anyway, which might end now. Is this in our way? I just can't get over what happened at the Abbott Abbey. I'm talking about the Abenathies again. Right in front of their eyes. My heart goes out to those folks. Damn vultures. It's better to just let them take what they want. Okay, that's not true. We will rebuild the Commonwealth. The Minutemen are here to help you. Not be completely at the mercy of the raiders. Can this go in this corner? It's really fighting me. Maybe we just make the farm slightly smaller. It 
looks nicer though. Visually, I really prefer the wire, wire fence to whatever they've got going on here. Maybe I do, there's the plain one, this, and then the corner piece. Well, that still won't fit, will it? Okay, yeah, never mind. Let's go back to this and do like this, and then just come around. You need a bed, don't you? You're gonna be mad until you get a bed. Should we slap a sleeping bag down for him? Probably. Let's actually go ahead and add some defense. I'm imagining the railroad is still kind of the entrance and exit to the settlement, so maybe this is where some guard posts would be nice if they would go on the ground and not be floating. <laughs> uh, maybe like that. That's on the ground. That feels good. I don't actually know where the spawn points for enemies are in this settlement, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. How close is the edge? There we go. Okay, so like that. And then should we assign that new guy? Why do you keep following me? I mean, I know it's because you're unhappy and don't have a bed. Okay. There we go. Now they've got enough defense for me not to worry, but now he does need a house. So maybe we put, ooh, can I scrap this even though it's beyond the bounds? Yes, I can. Maybe we put him, we can make a barracks like right next to this tree. Let's grab my favorite foundation. And just boop, pop them on like that. Like maybe we just need a single shack for guards, not taking up too much room or space. Because we can fit two beds in it, it'll just be kind of tight, but that's okay. Is that not going to fit? Is it because of the tree? Did I put this too close to the tree? I didn't think so. Maybe it's the branch, though. Let's scooch it out either way. Oh, how's that? Is that better? Come on, Fallout. Bethesda! You're really trying me sometimes. Let's just put it here. Get that wall on. Why do I like this game again? The one west of Salem. He said oh they got a tarberry box. Oh my god. Swimming pool. Hey, good for them. Nice to see them get back on their feet after what happened in Diamond City. A tarberry bog in a pool. Oh, Wish they're I talking about that. the ghouls. Why can't I put this wall on? Okay, you come all the way out here. Am I missing something? Is it this wall? Maybe it was that wall. Can we put it back now though? I guess it just didn't want to be a corner wall. Okay, now that I've got it back. Yeah, now it can go right up against that tree like I wanted in the first place. <laughs> That'll be our guard barrack. It would be nice to be able to use the top of it maybe as like artillery up there. Let's go ahead and put a bed in there just because I know and that guy is gonna lose happiness for every second that he doesn't have a sheltered bed. There, now our happiness rating can start to come back up. Let's see if we can get some stairs. What am I doing? Unless I want metal stairs. Could I connect warehouse stairs to this? Because that would be really nice. I just don't know if it's possible. 
Like, will that snap? It might. This is an experiment. That is lovely. That's lovely because now that can be a lookout for the guards. Can I bring this over anymore? Oop, not like that. But like that, oh, that's really nice. I'm so happy that worked. Okay, so this will be the guard barracks. And then up here, do we have like railings from this set? Miscellaneous, no, we've got posts. Scaffolding maybe? smaller ones over here yeah okay so my vision is like you can go up there and be a guard too would a guard post fit up there it might but i don't think it would look nice so let's use some artillery instead we'll do that that and then just to make this still be a guard post we can put some chairs up here for them like a lookout post might even be nice for them to come up there and grab a beer. Besides the fact that the machine gun turrets are super loud. We'll ignore that for now. Decorations. Let's get that Minuteman flag. You know I love putting a Minuteman flag on the barracks. It just seems very patriotic, I guess. Do a rubber floor covering before we put a second bed down. I know this is small for a barracks, but it's a smaller settlement. So I think they'll be okay. Where's my foot locker? Love giving guard barracks a foot locker. Maybe you, this does feel too crowded. Maybe we delete the second bed and just let this be a one guard, a one guard settlement. Just that guy. Because then this can go like that. Actually, if he's the only one, let's give him something bigger. Let's give him a metal box. Which way is the front way? This way. Like that. And then, does he have room for a desk? You know I love giving guards a desk. Yeah, he does, actually. I don't like that one. That's closer. This one is the one I want. I love this one. And decorations. I feel like mounted creatures could help us out here. Something that makes this guy feel you know, important. Yeah, mounted hound head would really lock it in for me. Maybe he used to be a hunter.
don't think he's a buoy man. But I really do think everybody needs a plant. Ooh, maybe he's bad at taking care of a plant. Yeah, a little dead plant. That's perfect. And there's no lighting in here. Mm, that one feels too antique. -y. Ooh, but this. That's really lovely. Oh, I forgot a door, didn't I? Where are doors? There we go. Blue for the Minutemen. Okay, that's lovely. A little one room barrack for this guy. Come here, guy. And then I want to dress him up because I think I have a Minuteman you know outfit a good on me. Day? Bet. About an empty stomach. That's great. Good thing you moved here. I want to trade a few things. Okay. I think I have. Yes, a Minuteman hat and a Minuteman outfit. We'll give him one and one. And let's give him that leather armor because he's our guard. Equip, equip, equip. Yeah, now he looks like a real bit of man. My little dress up doll. I'd like to trade some items. Did I have a chess sure piece? Thing. Guess not. Kind of want to take the green shirt and combat boots because I like that outfit on other people. Trade. Sorry. I guess I don't have a chess piece. Oh well. Thank you for that other outfit though. So that's his setup. This still looks like it's floating. That's okay though. Let's go ahead now that the happiness is raising steadily. Let's fix the rest of these wire fences. And let's give them some more of a varied diet. Nobody can, sub can survive on tomatoes alone. We'll give them some mute fruit, maybe three of these. Three. Each settler can do six units of food, I think. So that'll be three with the mute fruit. And then we would need six of these to make that even. Am I doing that math right? I don't know. Regardless, we'll do three corn. Let's scooch this. Is Preston get out of my wee? that yeah, so walk in we got three and three and then let's arrange these tatoes better we all agree that tatoes are just mutated tomatoes but what is the mute fruit and do you pronounce it mutt fruit i know some people do but i feel very strongly that it's supposed to be mute fruit Carrots. We don't have carrots yet. We can do three carrots. We're going to need to move these. I'm shrinking the farm just a little bit. Furniture. No, it's not under bed, it's under structures. We could have done this with a picket fence. That would have been kind of cute. Which way does this open? Open. Oh, that was the right way. It'll go like that. We need to snap this in. So we need the one that doesn't have the post on the end. Made that a lot harder for myself by locking it in too soon. And come here. Come here. There we go. There. 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 
we're shrinking their farm, but we're giving them a lot more crops, so they're gonna be okay. And then do we want a gate over here too? I feel like we might. If I do. Will that snap? No. No. Oh, but I could do. No, because we've brought it this far out on this side. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want it to be a, a square, a rectangle. And that's not going to clip for me. But I don't want to wall out the workshop itself. I want, maybe I build off of the house. Like maybe I just start a new. Section of fence, come here, come here. So much harder than it needed to be. the height difference of the ground, isn't it? Oh, we have another broken down campfire. You know how I feel about these. Put a working one on top of it. Yay! Okay, so that's a lot nicer. Let's move the water pump inside the farm. Because if you're watering crops, you need it closer. Where will it fit? God, I'm really having some issues with clipping. Where can you go? I don't want you to go in front of the fence. Can you not go here? What is happening? What is happening? That's fine. Go right in the middle. See if I care. I care a lot. We're going to come back to that. Why can't this go on top of the mound? Did I put down three carrots? I don't think I did. Resources, food. Would love three of each. You're really testing me, Fallout. You are really testing me. That's where that'll go. Alright. Three, three, and three. And we gotta figure out what to do with this fence, because I hate this. I could cut it in. We'll come back for you. No, you wouldn't clip that way before. Now you suddenly want to? That is so unfair. That's evil. Fine. Fine. You know what? Fine. That's good. 
This of course won't clip now. That's fine. That's cool. That's good. Is there anything I can do to make this look finished? Give me, come on. That might be it. That might be it. Okay, at least that opens the right way. There's a gap, but that's fine. We'll live with that gap. That'll be okay. Let's put the cooking station here in the corner. And let's bring the water pump back now that we've outlined the farm. Come on, just go green. That's fine. That's fine. Is there a way to light up this corner though? I could do a fire barrel. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm really not okay with this pump though. I guess that'll be okay. Okay, so now they've got some carrots, some mute fruit, some corn. What don't they have? They don't have any razor grain. I know I'm really messing up their farming schedule, but they're going to be okay. Oh, a new person has literally just materialized. Welcome. And now we're out of beds. Don't just get away for one second, sir. I will make you a bed you're hindering the progress of the farm. I don't want to take away all their potatoes. They've lived on such a potato heavy diet for so long that it might actually send them into shock to have no potatoes. Let's do some razor grain. I feel like razor grain would be such a core crop for bread like Okay, that's good. Much more crop variety, which is going to be good for soil health too in the long run, because you don't want to just plant the same thing over and over, which is what they've been doing ever since they moved here. Weren't you supposed to clean the gun? Who are you talking to? Okay, so we've got our little barracks house. We've got our main house for the two women who own chance. this property. Who is... Uh, yelling at somebody else for not cleaning guns. Again, not everybody here has a gun. I'm assuming these original women do not have guns. They just don't really strike me as gun owners. That's it. And I stand by that. They're lovers, not fighters. All right, we got to build another bed. So we definitely need more housing. But we also need a bar, a clinic, a uh, shopping center, all those things. So I'm wondering if the shopping center would be good in this back part. We've got a lot of, you know, topography issues back here, or we could put it up on the railroad itself. Like maybe this is the sales district, you know what I mean? Or maybe this is where the shops line up, but then we still have housing in the back. That might be the way I go with this. Either way, I think we got to start putting down foundations to try and even out what's going on here with the ground. Like this. Actually, I don't want that. I kind of want like a front porch. Can I do a front porch? What'll snap onto this? Like the smaller. Yeah, like that actually, that works really well because then we can still do a wall behind it Something textured. 
Yeah, actually, I love that. Can we do another one in the ground, or is that like not going to work? Pretty good. No, good. I guess not. I know how much that was bothering you. Wow, these settlers have a lot more dialogue than I like realized. We'll do like that. Yeah, I like that. It makes it feel kind of more protected. And I want like a chair or bench. One that seems kind of weatherproof because it's outside. That feels small. Patio chair works. A little front porch for this house. If it is a house, I haven't decided if this is a house or any type of shopping yet. Let's do that one. Let's do another railing. Visual balance. Like on this side, you know what I mean? Oh no, is that too much in the ground? Well. Oh, I'm gonna regret this. Yeah, I don't think I can place that in a way that will <laughs> make that work. So we'll come back to it. Hmm. It's getting dark, so we might have to go to sleep soon. How close are we to the edge? What stairs can we do inside? We can do this. Hmm. Because what if we do like that? We can't build out here. I actually hate these stairs a lot because there is not much room you have with them. Because like now we need a floor here. We're going to fall right off the edge, you know? I wish there were better options. We can do this, and then that's a complete path. And we'll do a bed here. Maybe a wall pops out on this side. Yeah, let's see how that structure looks. Yeah. Yeah, I think this might be a good junk store. Like a general trader slash house. So we'd get some more housing, but we'd also get... Come here, come here. A general trader store. Here are my little half walls love these half walls and I'm so glad that they snap into these pop-out walls I don't know what I would do if they didn't okay so that's kind of nice this is gonna bug me a lot but the warehouse set oops, not barn comes with those poles under miscellaneous I wonder if I could snap any of them in a way that makes this feel more secure structurally. Like that. Yeah, actually, that is exactly what I need. They won't snap, but I can push them up real close. That really helps. Cool. This is where a bed could go. And I know it's getting dark. So I kind of want to plop a bit down and then sleep in it till morning. Give me a good wall. That'll do.
and a roof because beds need to be sheltered. Let's do a high roof. Kind of facing each other like that. And it does still count as sheltered even though, you know, it's not really sheltered. Which is a good thing. I'm grateful for that too. Because I would lose my mind trying to position beds under just the sheltered parts of roofs. This actually, this guy could have a wider bed. Like this, making a lot of money as the only general trader in town. And then let's sleep it off until we've got more sunlight. and well rested okay so we have this upstairs that'll be his personal space and then downstairs i think this would really work for a general trader so let's go ahead and put that store in to fit in a way that still lets us use the stairs. I hate that these are so long. It makes them so inconvenient to put inside, but it makes sense that they would be inside. Okay, is that too tight? That's enough room to go upstairs and stand behind it. Okay, that works. That works. And then this becomes like our general goods store. Let's see if there's any good decorations to promote that fact. Like a sale sign. Yeah. I guess he's not a gun shop. That would go in an armory if we had an armory. But if there's anything like stationary, or candy, or books, this guy would have it. What's this say? Employees must wash hands. Doesn't really need that. I don't want mounted creatures. I want miscellaneous. Because I feel like something like this could add some neat visual interest for us, you know? And kind of sell that he's a junk dealer. He's a collector of whatever comes his way. And now he, of course, needs some containers to store all of that. Like this, this works well for me. Oh wait, can I stack those? Oh, I can. That's lovely. Some wooden crates. Decorations, floor coverings. Let's give them a welcome mat. Some wooden crates. And then back here, let's put some shelves. Furniture shelves. Yeah. For storage. And then I'm also going to put some shelves behind him. And can I put my favorite little candles on those shelves? I would really love if I could, but I don't think I can. I don't think they're quite wide enough. 
Yeah, that's disappointing. That's okay though. Would they go in here? They could go in there, but just lore wise, that doesn't feel right because you would need to open the bin. So we'll put them back here instead. Okay. That's lovely. Let's do like a painting or something back here as well. Just some smaller paintings, maybe for purchase. Maybe he sells decorations too to other people in the settlement. If I can get it to go there, yes. Yeah, that feels kind of junky, kind of good. Is there like a small one? Yeah, like the cat one to go back here. Mm, that's clipping maybe a bit too much. That's fine, just for some visual texture. That's fine. All right, let's go grab that new settler. Where did he go? That's Preston. Preston doesn't work here. You, hey, you're not a farmer. Thank you for stepping up and doing some farming, but you're not a farmer. You are a general trader. And while we're at it, I'm also gonna assign him to the bed that's in there. Cause I like it when they have the right bed. Come here. Nope. All right, we'll wait for him to come over here. And while we're waiting for that, let's do his upstairs. Cause that is very boring. We have a good rug. A rug. Mm. Maybe like a bedside. No, that doesn't really make sense. Let's give him a nightstand though. Tables. Candles. And then I would imagine that he has some personal stuff that he needs to store. Maybe not in. Oh. Hmm. Steamer trunk or suitcase? I think suitcase. That's nice. Yeah, he's a man about town. And then there's not really room for us to do anything over here. Like, I would love a table and chair set, but I feel like that would take up too much space. So let's do like one little sitting chair instead. Like that. Yeah. And then maybe a wall decoration here. Actually, I'm gonna swap sides. This chair is gonna go over here. Cause that way he still has like a path to walk coming up the stairs, but this can be our like decoration zone. Cause maybe he's kept the best paintings for himself. You know, the man's a collector. You don't become the best junk dealer in Overland by not keeping the best things. Mm. Ooh, somebody's donating to Preston. I'm the general, why don't you give to me? That's fine, I'm not jealous. That's cool, normal. Uh, let's give him maybe an oil lamp or fire barrel. Not oil lamp, yeah. This is a high quality establishment after all. Okay, so we've got our main house for the farmers, which are our original settlers. We've got the barracks, we've got a guard, we've got a general trader. We are going to want a clinic, that is a big one. So where should we put the clinic? Maybe down here? A little cozy building here. Are any of these useful? I never use these. I could see how they could be useful, especially if you were building like an outdoor shopping center. But I really, I tend to go for more of like this setup where you've got one person to a store to a house. It just feels more cozy and more realistic to me. You know, these people don't have a ton of traders coming in and out. They're just living their own lives. 
trying to do their best. Hmm. Maybe we do like a T-shaped clinic. This could be cool. Door. I think this needs the higher stairs. I guess it doesn't. No, yeah, it does. This could be a good clinic. This could be a really neat clinic. And we could use... Um, no, I don't want to do that, actually. I want to find a flat wall so then I can bump this out a little bit and build us like a good waiting room. Am I going to be able to do that? Maybe I can't. Oh, no, that'll snap. That's nice. Because then we have room for the couch in our little waiting room. Yeah, but then this, I could do the same thing on that side. Does that take up too much space though? I guess not. I guess if there's one thing you want to have enough space, it is the clinic. Because if there's any sort of raider attack, you want to be able to heal. Not everybody in this settlement is equipped to get through such a thing. This feels like a really luxurious clinic. That might. Yeah, actually. That's feeling good. And then what are we going to do back here? I'm imagining the main like clinic store will go here. And then we'll have a bed back here and a bed back here. Kind of a symmetrical layout. So let's get the clean wood wall. Why won't that go there? Am I at the settlement edge already? Oh, I guess I am. I still feel like I can fit. Yeah. I'll do this one here for a little texture. I love a good texture. Love a good texture and hate a bad texture. Kind of need one that isn't slanted or oh no we'll just match the front one okay that's good that's really good yeah let's do some landscaping i love a hedge and when i don't have a hedge i love a small tree Not paintings. I want that drug sign. I guess I can do like a biohazard sign since they've got a lot of drugs. Oh, you know what should go inside here is a chem station. 
That's exactly what should go inside there. Fire barrel or oil lamp. Does it feel like I'm duplicating general store too much if I have an oil lamp here? I don't think so. I actually want like a seating area out here. Yeah, a little bench. Will that feel like it's floating too much? Or do we have just enough ground to make that work? That actually feels pretty good. Okay, we've got bench, tree, oil post. That's really nice. Let's slot the clinic in here so we know that fits. Actually, let's do the um, rubber rug first. I always forget that you can't do rugs down afterwards and it really bugs me. Because I feel like this is exactly the right setting for like a large medical floor covering. This one is nice, it's more interesting than the other one, but it also is gonna be hard to clip. I should probably get a mod or something for better clipping or no clipping. I know there's ways to do that. I just, I like it when it snaps together kind of more realistically. Cause I don't use mods. I do, I am using some uh, cheats for the first time just to be able to do purely settlement builds without having to worry about pausing to go get more resources. But that's it. Okay, let's go ahead and build out our waiting room. Nice couch. And locker, the couch and locker set has such a grip on me because it, it just feels realistic for a clinic. It absolutely feels like you come in, you change into a little gown, you put your stuff in the locker and everything's gonna be okay. What feels relaxing for a doctor's office? It's the dog. It's definitely the dog. Okay, that's lovely. And then maybe on this side we do the chem station. Is there a chem station? What am I thinking of? Which way is the front? Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. This one feels even more sciencey. Yeah, that feels perfect in a clinic. Let's actually do one more decorative rubber flooring. Single tiles. Just like that. Oh, that's really nice. And now we can do some more of the hazardous signs because now we are making our own drugs. Come on. Yeah, we'll do a employees must wash hands sign over the sink and is there like an employees only yeah can we put this I guess not up there but there oh that looks really good okay so we got our waiting room for patients we've got our chemistry station to make more stim packs And then we'll do this bed for the actual medical exams. And then maybe over here is where our doctor can actually live so we can scooch in a second 
bed like this. And then we can use some shelves to give a little more privacy like this. Yeah, so this is the clinic zone, but then over here is where the doctor, actually this bed might be taking up too much space. Let's replace the bed. But I still, I'm obsessed with this idea that then the doctor has this like kind of private nook. oil lamp Will this go up here yes people still need privacy even in the post-apocalypse okay that's lovely i like that a lot and then maybe like a drinking fountain Ooh, nightstand, nightstand to go back here, sink, sink would be good, sink to go over here, you don't need plumbing, it all connects like magic, there we go, there we go, that's really lovely, let's do some more rubber floor, yeah, but just the one. Okay, so that is for a sick patient, somebody who's got overexposure to rads. We've got the surgery center. We've got the doctor's sort of private living quarters, chemistry station. I want something behind them. Lettering. Oh, this says chems. That's cool. Doesn't help us a ton though. Oh my god, I would love to do little addresses on all the houses. How cute would that be? Employees only back here. For sure. Maybe just a shelf. You know? Statues? No. I could do a little plant somewhere. Mm, I think I'd rather keep the walking paths clear. All right, let's do a shelf and then call the clinic done. Then we need somebody to be the doctor. Oh, I love this clinic so much. Okay. So we've got this lovely outdoor zone. You walk in, chemistry lab, waiting area, clinic itself, doctor's quarters, and then the examination room. That is, ah, oh, that's just delightful. Okay, that's really good. I need somebody to show up so I can assign them to that. Is this guy having trouble pathfinding? growing pretty good lately. Okay, but you're a trader now. You're no longer a farmer. You okay? You gonna be okay? I don't have to worry about you? All right, uh, now these people need like a restaurant. I mean, they've been living just off of potato <laughs> for so long, I feel like they deserve something nice. So maybe we do, I know I'm so partial to the warehouse as the restaurant, but maybe we do something outdoorsy for them. It's a smaller settlement. Something kind of like this with outdoor tables. Hmm. We could still use like the warehouse pieces. And have this be like a, a nice zone. Okay, well that's too far back. How much space can I take up? Like that. I 
I do need stairs. And this would be like, we'd put some tables. I don't know how I feel about this yet. Let's center it around the restaurant store. I use the, the shorter ones so often, but I, I actually think this one has a great texture. I don't like these stairs. be losing me already. Let's try and pull it back. <sighs> Scaffolding has good like ramps and ramps could feel... Oh, but will ramps not connect? Maybe I should be doing this whole thing with scaffolding. If we do, will this connect? Will you snap together? No. What if I force it? What if I'm like... That's pretty close. And then will you snap together? Yeah. Okay, because this could be an entrance. No, it couldn't. It is not close enough. Did not mean for that. Hold on, hold on. If you want to see a finished project, you can always skip to the end. But this, we are problem solving here. Okay. It's not the worst. It's not my favorite. What can we do with the scaffolding set? Because maybe I would like this better. Scaffolding over the warehouse set. Let's try that. Scaffolding framework. Like a tall one for back here. Oh my god. I know you'll play. There we go. It is neat that they clip at the half angle for the half. That could be useful to us. Now what about this shorter set? Will this clip? Yes, it will. 
so what I'm hoping is we can use a ramp for this that'll like make more sense. What do the prefabs look like? No. I know I'm not using this in the way that they expect me to, but that's okay. Sometimes you try something new. Sometimes you get something cool out of it. Like maybe they're gonna have a really cool bar. If I can figure this out. The terrain here is just so uneven. I don't think this would snap. It does snap. That's a game changer. That's a game changer for what we're trying to do here. Because now the restaurant can be this like little area. Oh, this is going to be good. This is going to be real good. Yeah. Okay, I'm feeling a lot more confident about this now. There, and let's get like a corner thing. No, I want them with walls. Yes. Okay, because now... The restaurant can be managed from this little corner. That's really nice. That is going to be really nice. I'm going to need this half wall. And now can I do the wooden railings on the scaffolding? Oh, that's a game changer. Okay. 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 We are back. We're back in business here. Because this is now really cool. This is, this is a really cool outdoor spot. Can we take advantage of the half sections of the scaffolding now? Like, um, like this. This isn't snapping, I'm thinking no, but we can at least try. It does, it's just not tall enough to be realistic there. Okay, but that, and then with this, and then if we go back to the wood set, will this clip on there? No. Oh. <gasps> Oh, I feel way better about this now. That is very cool. That's really cool. Oh. Okay, so now let's flesh out what's going on back here. Because if I was running a bar, I would need to be able to cook food. Crafting is what I'm looking for. Not that cooking station, but this one. The way we did in the main farmer house. I think this is absolutely lovely for being behind the bar. Furniture, containers. And I'll do the same. Not cooking service, but it's going to work as a cooking surface for us. Do we have room for one on this side too? And I'm just going to arrange this all a little better. That's gorgeous. Nobody wants to be eating potatoes all day, every day. 
Arbor floor mat. And then a container here, I feel like makes the most sense. Like a long cabinet, maybe? I don't know how close I can shove it because I know I'm right on the edge of the settlement. Ooh, but does that make this not walkable though? Oh no, because it's still walkable on that side. That's really nice. That's really nice. Okay. Lighting, I think, would be awesome here. Like the string lights. Like maybe one here. One here. Does that make sense? And then we can put a generator here. I wish the generators were quieter. I really do. Do we want? No, that's way too much. Is it going to be annoying for whoever works here to live next to a generator all the time? Yes, absolutely. But that's not my problem. <gasps> and that lights up both of them. That is lovely. Let's pull this forward just a little bit. Because it's over here that we're going to do the seating. Do like picnic table or um, patio furniture is what I mean, like this. I didn't think I was gonna like this so much, but it, that really, that's lovely. Hmm. Maybe this goes in this corner. This goes in this corner. Oh, we don't have enough water. Oh, we got more people. Oh, perfect. So we can assign them to some things. Let's go ahead. We're going to need more water, and I want to do that as like a big water pump. Like this. Power generators. Actually, maybe this can be the generator for those lights that I just put up. Like maybe I get rid of this and I do conduit back here. I don't know if this will connect all the way to the other one, but it's at least worth a try. It works! It works! Oh, that's absolutely beautiful. So now we have more water. We have the bar. We just have to put seating here. Chairs. What goes with the patio furniture? The chat patio chairs? Just like one there, one there, one there. This is looking really good. Oh, I'm so happy with the way this came together. And we'll do one of these. Hello. Do you want to work here? If you're new? No, you're assigned. You're assigned. They're just coming to hang out. Okay. Wait, you're assigned to food too? Who are my original people? You're original. I think you're original. I think you're new. You don't need to be a farmer. You can be my restaurateur. It's dark coming up here. I would love a light like right here. And since we have a generator, maybe we do a powered light. I could do this just like against, oh, maybe I couldn't. Hmm. Or I could do these. Uh, 
Does that feel too battle cage? Do I need a disco ball? No, I don't need a disco ball. Stay focused. I don't need a disco ball. But maybe I need like a street light? Or maybe we want to stick to the oil lights. How bright is this? That's it. That's the one. We can get rid of the ground track lights. Hmm. And I don't think our power will stretch all the way over here. So maybe we just want like a oil lamp or the candles. Weren't you supposed to clean the guns? It's on my list. Stop arguing well, about the guns. This a friendly reminder. Anything here? This could be a good place for like some entertainment. What do we got? We got the food and drink. Resources. Hmm. Maybe this is a place for like a barber shop. I don't think I can spare the people though. Yeah, I think I need something more like a radio. Maybe a jukebox. Oh, a Nuka Cola or Vim machine would be perfect here. Yeah, because the jukebox is going to require too much energy. Stereo, radio, grill. Do I have a Nuka Cola? That seems too beat up. I think Vim is going to be the way to go. Can it just not fit in here? It's got to poke out a little bit. Okay. That's okay, honestly. And then maybe we do our radio here. Not classical radio. I don't like classical radio. Not because I don't like classical music, but because I don't like the Institute. There we go. This is gorgeous. Oh, I'm so glad that we plowed ahead with that because that is a lovely little after work set up for everybody. Yay! Wow, I'm I'm so happy with that. This really feels like a cozy little community. We still need somebody to take over the clinic. Okay, so how many people do we have? We have the two original people who are farmers. We assign one to be a guard. We assign one to general trader and we assign one to the bar. So that's all five. So we don't have somebody to do the clinic yet. But that's pretty close to everything I wanted to do. I know we don't have a ton going on here, but this feels very honest to what this settlement you know, was meant to be. Hmm. If we get more people, I think we would need more housing. So maybe we do one more like housing shack. And the other thing I'm going to try to do is attract a cat or two. These won't be permanently here, obviously. And neither will the recruitment radio beacon. but maybe we get a cat. That would be cool. Hmm. I said I'd come back up here and now I will.
This is a good chair. This feels like an overseer chair. And this feels like an overseer office. Let's give him a plant. Mm. No, small one. Snake plants are better for filtering air quality. And let's do, let's do a flag. If I can. Yeah. There we go. So we got Minuteman flag, table chair. I want something like taller right here. Filing cabinet. That's it. Why can't I go further back? Maybe this filing cabinet will? Oop. Come here. Yep. There we go. Filing cabinet, desk, chair, a little plant, and then the ashtray that I had before. Maybe we should do another chair back here or like a bench while we can this is a nice narrow bench how's that feel i didn't think i would like that but i actually really really like that well, unless i can't get it close enough mm, maybe the answer is bench Because that way, if somebody has a question for the mayor of the settlement, they come in and sit down and they can spin around and have a little combo. Okay, so that takes care of our watchtower. That's lovely. You know what we don't have is clothing. So maybe instead of just like a house, we need like a clothing emporium. And we could put that here to sort of round out the settlement because then we have everything sort of centrally facing the farm, which could be really, really nice. Let's do that. Let's build, let's build a clothing store or at least a home for somebody who owns a clothing store. Oh, we have so much room down this way. Yeah, we can scooch this back. I know we're gonna get in the way of our little guard here, but he'll be fine. Our door could be there but I think we're gonna have trouble putting the wall here if I do that first yeah because I think what I actually want is this wall I don't usually build an armory or a weapons shop unless I'm in somewhere like Sanctuary that I feel is a bigger town. But this is such a small settlement, I don't think they have use for a specialized armory all by themselves, you know? It's not like they have a ton of traders coming in and out. And an armory doesn't do anything for happiness, so I kind of have to believe that the people don't care about it being there or not. Compared to like a clothing shop, which even the farmers can go and get new clothes. Because everybody needs to wear clothes. Yeah. See, our options... 
with the store are to either do this outdoor setup like we did for the bar and then they sell it out here or we put this inside and make it another inside store. And either way, it's going to be somebody's house. Like either way, I think a bed can go here and a little dining area can go here. So it's just a matter if they want to be selling from inside their little house. So let me zoom out. Get a sense. I think I prefer outside. And also I usually do inside. So maybe this is a good little challenge for me. No, that's not enough for somebody to stand. Do we want it right on the tracks like that? That feels weird on the tracks. I'm changing my mind. I'm, I'm doing it inside. Inside it is. Is that enough room for somebody? Yeah, it is. Yeah, okay, so that'll be a nice clothing store and then their bedroom and dining area are still private enough. Let's build the walls first because I don't want to have an uncovered bed. They get real mad about the uncovered beds. Some texture walls. It's not the same as this one, but I get there. And then some roof. Actually, this one comes over here. And then we'll do a flat one for this section, just for better balance. This feels so flat, though. Like a shack wall might help. Yeah, that does help. Yeah. Let's get them a door and a bed. Let's do the beds first, actually, because it's getting real dark. I think I'm going to want a rug, so let's go ahead and pause to take a nap. And why was Preston in bed with me? Okay, let's just move on from that. Preston, that's fine. That wasn't weird at all. Just to wake up and see you're crawling out of bed with me. And now you're gone. That's totally cool. I do love Preston. I know a lot of people get annoyed by him. I adore him. I love that he always comes with another settlement that needs help because I love building out settlements. That's how we reclaim the Commonwealth. The Commonwealth Provisional Government, I think, would have saved the Commonwealth if the Institute hadn't completely sabotaged it, which I do think is entirely their fault and blame them for. But I think if you... Like, I think that's the best way forward for the Commonwealth. If enough settlements get their footing on being able to provide housing and security for enough people, then you can start to think again about what the next steps are, like a Commonwealth provisional government and organizing those settlements to make sure that everybody has the resources they need. Just stuff like that is how you come back from a post-apocalypse. Okay, so they've got their dining area, they've got their bed, they've got the store here. And then I'd like to think that they, of course, have to have storage for the things they have in the store. Although this could still be their like private room. Actually, let's make this their dresser. And let's give them a little couch, why not? Or big couch. I kind of like that for them. This couple that owns the clothing store. Is that too much? Oh, what about this one? Oh, I hate it, but I love it. 
Like it's so, it's like almost ironic. Although I might genuinely hate it next to this rug. Let's give them a different rug. I actually feel like whoever lives here, I'm picturing a couple that's like very classy. It's this one. Yeah, that's it. That's absolutely it. I want to give them something at the foot of their bed that's a little more interesting. Like a suitcase for all their extra clothes. That's really nice. So bed, bed, suitcase, couch, dresser. And you know I love a painting. I love these paintings so much. I feel like they add so much warmth and coziness to these settlements and these houses that like, yeah, this couple, whoever is this, is absolutely classy enough for an abstract painting. That's it, it's this one. That's gorgeous, that's very fun. Candles. This is a lovely little area for them. Okay, and then they have their dining stuff. And then this section can absolutely be storage for the clothing store itself, which I always like. I love using these like people or uh, mannequins because I feel like then we can display some like pre-war clothing in a wonderful way that wouldn't feel good to have settlers wearing, but absolutely feels nice to display. That's lovely. Is there another flooring that would go here? I guess we would want to welcome that. Again, these people, classy. I don't know which way the map goes, but that's okay. And I didn't put a door on this, did I? Mm -mm. No, let's do... Honestly, red I feels like feel like goes with their kind of postmodern. But what the actual hell? Preston how? Okay. Let's blow past that. That's fine. I was <laughs> such a Preston defender. Let's do an oil lamp and then let's give them like a wall sign hi oh no you're not Preston I thought you were coming down and then we'll do like clothing and maybe the sale sign not tools No, that's too big. You know what? I love the idea that if they found these bathroom signs, they would think that it's for like, oh, we have clothing for men and women. So that's that's going to be my headcanon is they found these and they were like, yes, we carry clothing in all sizes for all gender identities. That's what this is. That's perfect. And then is there anything that can go kind of behind them? It might just be another shelf. I know that I rely on shelves behind stores as like, I don't know what to put here. Maybe I'll put a shelf. But ooh, wait, a magazine rack could be fun. Actually, let's revisit the magazine rack in the general store. But I do feel like a shelf would be nice. And then let's get a little chair. Could they pull this off? Maybe if I had more room. Let's get a little stool for whoever's working here. That looks like the most uncomfortable stool I've ever seen in my life. These all look brutal. That one's fine. Okay, there we go. That's 
I love this as a little clothing store. I love this. Okay. So we've got guard post number one. Guard barrack. Preston's still on the roof. Guard barrack number two. And that's enough defense for the settlement. We've got five people, 12 food, 13 water, eight power, eight beds. We've scrapped everything we can. And we're, we're going to wait around to see if we can get a cat. We've given them some more crop diversity, which is great. Okay. Yeah, I think I think this is a good stopping point, especially because we're getting into the upper size limit. So let's go ahead and do our full tour of the settlement. Oops. Okay. So this is Oberlin Station. We're coming up along the abandoned railroad tracks. So this is how it would feel to sort of come up into the settlement. We've got some guard posts. We've got a guard here now, of course, associated with the Minutemen. We've the got these guard barracks that have some artillery on top for a lookout. And then this is where our guard lives. He's got a little metal box, a desk, and of course his trophy head. Also at the entrance to the settlement, we have Preston being an absolute clown, but then we have the clothing store. The clothing store is owned by a wonderful and stylish couple that has a flair for the mid-modern. These two beds, little suitcase, little dining area. Coming back here, this is the watchtower that was permanently here. This has been here from the beginning, but it now serves as a small desk for whoever the mayor of the settlement may be. Attached to the original foundation of the watchtower, we have uh, this housing for the original occupants of the settlement. They own the land here, um, and they are both farmers. So they have a small kitchen area. The farm's not much. Hi, girl. How you doing? A little sitting area, their beds, dresser, little clock. Coming down here, we have our general store. So that's this guy. He is a collector of many fine items, here, paintings, anything you need. One day at a His time. house is up here on top where he keeps all the best goods for himself. And then to the right here, we have the clinic. Uh, we still don't have anybody working in the clinic. But that's okay. We have a small waiting area. We have a chemistry station to make more stim packs. And then back here behind this bookshelf, bookcase we have the uh, doctor's private quarters and then here to the left we have the checkup and surgery area so of course a sink for washing your hands uh, and then this little examination area or bed for somebody extra passing by and then finally we have this outdoor bar setup I am obsessed with this bar setup uh, we have some seating picnic tables or patio tables we have a vim dispenser uh, here is our bartender and of course here is the little area for our bartender to cook yeah i'm feeling really good about this one guys I hope you ain't one of, them of course we gotta wait okay never mind i say that and then she says something incredibly biased i am a synth defender i hate the institute but i synths are just people y'all if you disagree with that bring it up in the comments uh, we're going to wait until we can capture some farm cats for this settlement, uh, and then I will get rid of the cat cages and the uh, recruitment beacon. But for now, we're still hoping to recruit a doctor, ideally somebody with some medical training, and a lovely couple to take over the clothing shop. So that's it for Overland Station. We're ending for now with five people that we will revisit that when we get some more. 12 food, 13 water, 8 power, 20 defense, 8 beds, and a happiness of 61, which should be going up. Hopefully that's going to get a lot higher as people adjust and we have a, a clinician to come and provide medical care. That about does it for us today. Thank you for joining me, the General of the Minutemen, as we work to make the Commonwealth a little safer one settlement at a time. And if you missed it, you can check out my previous build of Ten Pines Bluff here. Thanks so much.